now joining us is Nicola, and as always, she's brought in some of the um, fluffiest, cuddliest. Who wrote this script? Because I know this is not the case. Not the Pets <laughs> for us to look at, and of course, um, of course, she hasn't. But we've got some new creepy crawlies to learn about. Yes, there we go. That's where it is. Let's. Introduce everyone, first of all. Hello, Claire. First of all, Hi. thanks for being the buffer yes. between us. I'm uh -oh. genuinely quite scared. There is a box <laughs> here. Nicola, thanks for coming in. Thank you. And usually when this happens, I'm in the other room. I'm avoiding this. We get Ross in here. We get someone else in here. But no. Now, unfortunately, Nathan and producer Henry, which is who is also right here for close-ups. Hi, Henry. Um, has got me sat here. So I'm terrified. I'm famously afraid of spiders. We booked it for today because we knew that Ross wasn't going to be here. I'm looking at you, producer Henry. I'm looking at you. You can't see him behind the scenes, but I'm looking at you. This has been done on purpose, hasn't it? All right, then. So, Claire, first of all, I want to ask you, how are you feeling about things? I'm a little bit nervous. Yeah, I see you're leaning towards me. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, <laughs> Nicola, shall we get this show started? What have you brought in? What have you got that's new today? What's been going on with you? So, yeah, we've taken delivery of quite a lot of animals. Okay. Some of them of these have been rescued, and some of them are new ones that we haven't seen before. Yeah, that worries me. So you were mentioning just off air just now, you've got some new ones that we've, you've got some now that you've only just recently got. This is their first outing. They've yeah. not been fed yet. No. Oh, my, oh, blimey, of course, the stick insect. Oh. Yes. Oh, <laughs> you sounded very indifferent about this, Claire. No, yeah, not Look a at big the time. size of those. God, they're tiny though. See, when I first see them, I have that immediate oh, reaction. Then I'm not so worried about it. But they are, they're big. So these are one of the only stick and set breeds that you have male and female. Really? Because uh, normally stick and sex are pathogenic. So the female lays eggs and they're fertile. Oh, wow. Oh, and that's quite cool. So that, that one's the male. I'm going to... I'm going to try and be brave here, because I must admit, they still give me the same <laughs> the same sort of effect as spiders do, but I want to yeah. really try and... You're going to be brave. I'm going to give it a go, oh, yeah. but I would like you, Nicola, to be on standby. I don't want to hurt them, but if I have a sudden <laughs> panic, I'd like you to be around just in case. They don't want to go That's the thing, you could just go like like that, and yeah. you could crush, crush it. Go on. It's, it's, <laughs> it's, <laughs> sticky, dare I say? It's very sticky. <laughs> they don't want to go on, do they? <laughs> Don't like. <laughs> okay, well, we got one on your shoe, so that's not going to work, is it? <laughs> We've got an escape here, folks. Please bear with us. Bear with us. <laughs> Henry's having a fit behind the camera here, I will say right now. Oh, quite fast. Yeah, they are when they want to get going. Oh, my goodness, mate. I'm genuinely quite oh, terrified quite about this. Oh, actually, the second. So, weirdly, for someone who is genuinely terrified of this, yeah, well the second they were on me, I've my fear has sort of disappeared. Go on. Is it just fall around? That's very cool. Well done, Come Pudge. On, that's right. Oh, these are sticker sets. These aren't spiders. So let's wait till we get spiders. <laughs> oh, 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 stay on my hand. Stay on my hand. I got you, buddy. I got you. There we go. Have a look at that. Oh, we stuck. So how do you know which one is so female? The big which... one's the female. Ah. And this one's the male. But I just say, you see the way... Oh, it was swaying a little bit there. So they sway, don't they? To try and imitate sort of leaves and Blowing twigs. Blowing in the wind. So they don't... Yeah, they don't get... Uh, they don't get eaten up. He's a big boy. I remember, actually, I gave you a sticking set a while ago for my garden, didn't I? Yes. How long do they typically live, these guys? So it's anything up to two years. Okay. So maybe, I don't know if that one that I gave you is still going around. Has he gone now? Or... <laughs> he was on our last, one of our last shows. Oh, amazing. Because they're not, I believe, you tell me I'm wrong, they weren't um, originally from UK, were they? No, so they actually came in on a load of trees that boats wow. brought in oh. and then they onto the Roseland. <laughs> and then there's just loads of them on the trees. All oh, right, amazing. and they give you a call to say to pick them up. This guy, the yeah. second he has touched my hand, he's gone, oh, no, I'm done now. He's just terrified. I love that. So they're both the same um, breed, same species? Yes. They look so vast, like, so different. Like, he, the colouring between them is, this one's so much darker. Mm. And it, I would honestly not have, have but, thought that. But are they the cool. same species? Yeah. Yeah, they are, right. Amazing creatures. Sorry, I'm, just, I'm mesmerised by this. I really should be doing my job here, shouldn't I? <laughs> lovely, uh, lovely camera work there by producer Henry. Um, okay, so we've we've got number one there. Okay, you're having a wonderful time there, aren't you? Well, it's not too bad. It's not as bad as I thought it was going to be. <laughs> I think I prefer these to like a 
like a spider. Mm, you I, I have a bad feeling that we will be getting uh, seeing as such. So, oh, okay. So back when I was in school, actually, um, I opened my front door, uh, Rose and Gardens, once um, when back at our original house, and honestly, there was a stick insect on the letterbox, yeah. and it was about that long. I, I'm not wow. joking. We caught it. Mum had a fit. She ran. That was it. She was gone. And we took it. I took it to school because everyone was just like, "How is it? Have we found one that big?" I don't, I don't know what happened yeah. to it, but That's yeah, awesome. stick insects. Fantastic. Not originally from here, but they're everywhere now. <laughs> I'm. I don't like the way you gave me a uh, a bit of a grin there, Nicola, while rooting for your box of um, box of tricks. Box tricks. of tricks. <laughs> well, you I can see things being picked up, but I can't see what. Henry is having a fit of a. Oh, hello. Is that, is that a millipede? Yes. Mm. Amazing. All curled up, having a nice sleep. sleep. Lovely, dare I ask? I won't ask what that was <laughs> that you just wipe your hands off. Oh, it's water and everything that's in there. Oh, I see. Their first defence is to pee and poo. That's right. the thing with most animals. That's All right. animals do it. Please get the wipes ready, people. Please get the wipes ready. I'll try and only use one hand on this microphone, Owen, <laughs> so you don't have to do too much clean up later. So, oh, is he waking up a little bit though? No. There we go. So, how old is this chap? I would say he's about two, maybe three years. Okay. And how long do they live for? It could be seven, eight years. Really? Wow. Oh. So, when did you get this? I think you've had this chap for a little while now, haven't you? He's, um, I remember seeing him on previous shows as well. Yes, he's a lot bigger. <laughs> I like how you say the first thing they'll do is, is pee and poop, and that's exactly what's happening, of course. Oh, he's waking oh. up now. Let's have a look. Hello, buddy. How you doing? What's up? What's going on? Oh, look at all oh. those legs. Look yeah. at all those legs. You're right there, Claire. Yeah. There's a space <laughs> right here if you want to hide. No. <laughs> there they, we go. Do they bite? No. No. I don't like the way she paused then, by the way. Right. Do they bite? <laughs> it feels like they do, no. but it's more like just... It feels like oh. they do. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I'm just going to lean this way go for on, a minute. Man. Wow, he's quite a he's quite a big boy, isn't he? Easy. Whoa. <laughs> you know what? I feel like I've been set up here. For, it's been set up for torture of me, but I feel like Claire's getting more of the torture yeah. right now. <laughs> yes. <laughs> like Paul Barrow on I'm a Celeste. <laughs> you know what? Oh, you, can keep, me. you can you can keep this one, Claire. That's fine. You've got this one covered. <laughs> Henry, at any like time that, that you and I would like to switch on camera, <laughs> off camera, that would be lovely. No? You're going to stay that side, fine. Like you're right there, Claire. Yeah. <laughs> no, you're good. You're good. You're fine. I'm fine. Yeah, oh, yeah funny I'm sensation. Give it a try here. Mm. Have we got a wipes here anywhere? Just in case. Like, wanna... There we uh, go. Oh, 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 yeah. oh they're, like clawing. they're like claws, but not claws. Yeah. But... Ooh, that's weird. Let's go this way, buddy. I hope you're falling off. It's like quite cool, actually. Oh yeah, I've got two bracelets though. <laughs> I won't lie, that is quite a cool. It's quite a weird, but yeah. almost sort of like velvety sensation. It's really strange. But mm. they look so delicate, the claws. But you can feel them like scratching a little bit. Not 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 painful scratching. Just like your own nails scratching, but on a really pinny sort of level. There's no pain yeah. there at all. Very cool. Thanks for taking the uh, taking the pee and poo. I'm, yeah, I've I got, got a Scott I got the. <laughs> Okay, so, okay, we've got millipedes, we've had uh, stick insects. What the heck have we Ooh. got now? <laughs> so, we, that was the Africa, giant African millipede. Right. So, that is not fully grown. That will get a lot bigger. Right. And now we've got the tiniest millipedes. Oh, okay. On the table. I feel like this is a trick. I shouldn't be leaning in. Something's going to go, wow. <laughs> yeah. Oh, wow, they are. Oh, they oh my are God, that's tiny. Absolutely tiny. Like the size of a pea, I think I would like this to liken this to. Uh, and does, does it get much bigger than that? No, that, that's, <laughs> that's fully grown. Really? Wow, so what, what are these again, <laughs> sorry? So these are pill millipedes. Here we come. There we go. Waking up now. Oh. Like you mistake that for a small, a tiny pebble. Yeah. The, absolutely tiny. Yeah. He's just sort of on his back going, what the heck's going on? Who's woken me up? I don't want to be here. Let me go back to sleep, please. I was nice and warm and cosy and you've got me in front of cameras. I'll stop now. <laughs> so people confuse these with wood lice. I was just going to say, it looks yeah, a bit they... like a wood lice. Yeah. Look at that. It does look remarkably like a wood louse. The colouring, though, um, a lot darker. Very, very interesting. He's got more legs than a wood louse. Okay. 
I suppose you'd expect with a millipede, wouldn't you? So what's the <laughs> what what creature has the most legs actually? So would it be a millipede? Would be, yeah, it millipede. Would be a millipede. Yeah. Look at that tiny, tiny millipede. You can see the little feelers going along. Just wants to go back to bed. <laughs> <laughs> as soon as you touch it, it would just it go curls back. back into... yeah. No, he's not even curled back. Like, just because oh. you said it now, there he goes. He's curling he's back up that. a bit. Well, what a remarkable creature. I can see you've got a few in that little tub as well. Yeah. Yes. Nice little mini viv, if anything. Like got some moss and uh, bits of bobs to keep them happy. There's even smaller ones there, so little baby ones oh, yeah. as well. Wow. And that is, yeah, like a tiny, tiny, like you said, pill. Yeah. yeah. Brilliant stuff. And so how long do they typically live for? So I'd say about two, again, two, two, years. two to three years quite easily. Wow, okay. So something that small, that's, just, that's really quite cool. So but those you... ones will take longer to reproduce. Okay. Because they'd How? only have a, a few eggs at a time. And when did you get those? When? Yeah, when did you uh, come they, on? They came on Tuesday. Oh, so they're one of the uh, the new ones. Okay, <laughs> that's that's fine. So one of the new ones, not so <laughs> not so threatening. I'm happy with that. Um, yeah, I know we still have a few things that we're going through. Oh, Henry is, oh. is losing his mind. <laughs> what You're doing that on purpose well. now, aren't you? <laughs> Every time a box has moved it... Yeah, Henry has seen these, and Babs, <laughs> Babs walked in, and she was terrified. Oh. Yeah. Right. Let's go, let's go now, Pops. You know what? Can I just show <laughs> back to the studio? No? No, it's not oh. going to happen. Okay, that's, it was worth a try. It was worth a try. Oh. Oh. We've got another stick insect. Is it stick insect? Nope. Is this something that can jump? Yep. That's why you're aiming Grass at me, isn't it? A grasshopper. No. So oh, this yes, is it a, is a grasshopper. I can horse headed see. grasshopper. You can oh. aim that thing away from me, that'd be great. <laughs> I, can, I can see like those back legs are pointing. You are really are trying to get to jump, aren't you? You're a swine. <laughs> like, literally, in a minute, you're going to see me disappear and I'm going to run. Oh, there's two of them. Of oh. course, there is. So, in all seriousness, they're quite big. I don't want to hurt them. <gasps> um, <laughs> I'm going to move now. <laughs> I have actually, I have moved away because they have now started jumping. I I am I'm out. <laughs> so how far can these jump? Quite far. I'd say at least four foot. <laughs> you, you are aiming those at me constantly. I know this doesn't make for good TV, me me trying to dodge around, but I am genuinely genuinely quite worried about hurting them should they jump on me. Right. If you just look at their faces, uh -huh, I'd rather not. They are meant to re resemble a horse. Okay. Yeah, I see what you mean with the... With the really big eyes. Yeah. Can we aim them somewhere else? That'd be great. You really are trying to put them on me, aren't you? <laughs> they'll, they'll jump any angle, that's the thing. Oh, oh that's So terrifying. even if they're facing straight, they can jump sideways. Okay. That's lovely. Where, where are these from? So these ones would be from Brazil way. Right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, they're, they're getting it on, are they? <laughs> I will be keeping my distance on this because they're genuinely, <laughs> it's quite worrying for me. Um, so from Brazil, how long do they technically usually live? So most, well, these are what they call stick insect grasshoppers. Mm. Okay, so it would right. still be about two to three years. Wow, okay. They're very interesting. But people misplace these as stick insects. Yeah. Understandable. So they eat exactly the same as what stick insects do, so bramble. Okay. But they've got the longer legs. Yes, of course, for the... Uh, for the jumping that we have already seen in action. And when did you acquire these? So these again are new ones. Right. By the way, just just so you know, I may not be visiting your house for a couple of years. Just just so you know. That's fine. You're gonna have something new by then anyway. There's no loss you? in our <laughs> <laughs> Rude. Absolutely rude. You know what, I wish also, by the way, I've just realised that in standing up to keep away from these, I have seen what else is in the box, and now I am terrified, truly terrified, I know what's coming up. Um, I'm being told to sit back down, I'm going to say for, for the first time ever, no, until I'm, ha until I'm happy, I am staying stood up. Did a backflip though. I, yeah, I will be staying stood up until these have gone away. <laughs> This is going to turn into how can we scare Pudge show? Oh my goodness, we've got a run away or a jump away, should I say? There we go. Okay, I'm coming, coming back in position. <sighs> what's next? I've seen what's in there. Have you seen what's in no. there? No. Right. It's going to keep my my mouth shut. There's a big box in there, and that's it's the big box that I'm worried about. Yeah. 
What have we got here? Oh! Oh, I know. I've seen these before. They're very cool little bugs. Look very much like leaves. Carefully now. Look at that. Look at that. Oh. Um, I feel uh, like... Yeah. Are they a type of... Are they type of mantis? No, these are uh, leaf insects. They're literally called leaf insects. Well, there we go. Is that because they look like a leaf or they eat leaves? Both. Both. They yeah, so both. these these are related to the stick insect family. Right. I wasn't going to ask that because you could see it also occasionally doing the little swaying, trying to <laughs> pretend it's in the, you know, pretend what it is. Yeah. Very, very much like a leaf. You could easily yeah. mistake that. Is it? Very can I help one? Go on, let's have a little hold. Hey, buddy, how you doing? Wow, they are so thin. I'll tell you later, yeah. they can still they can still jump. That's fine. <laughs> this this one isn't scaring me so much. Like the other ones, I didn't realise they were going to scare me so much, but they did. So Ooh, it curls up at the back. There we go. Hey, buddy, you want to have a look at my bracelet? So with these, they have to actually be on their own because other stick insects can mistake them for leaves oh, and can actually eat in. them. Oh, does that include their own their own kind? If you don't have enough space, yes. Wow. Oh, and enough food available, they can. Incredible little things. So they, mm. they really are like leaf thin. Like, even their limbs are like leaf thin. Very beautiful though. Mm -hmm. How long can they live? I would. These ones would probably live a bit longer, so probably about four years. Right, okay. Wow, four years. I usually find, I always thought that the smaller the creature, like the, the less yeah. time they usually live. I know, you think like a fly lives for a day or something. Something like mayfly, <laughs> isn't it? Something yeah. like that. But with these, their eggs probably take between 18 months to two years to actually hatch. Wow. Whereas some stick insects, is, is, it's usually about six months, six months to a year. Wow. Incredible creatures. Oh, yeah. Another way he's walking and sort of dancing at the same time. Yeah. <laughs> And how many have you got in that tub? So there should be nine in here. I can see there's some smaller ones in there as well. Like very tiny. Yeah, newly hatched ones. Oh my goodness, look at them all. You can see which wow. ones are, or what are there because of the different colour to the actual leaves. Amazing. I'm going to quick, quick, almost horticulture question here. Why the tinfoil on the end of the... Uh... So you put tissue and it keeps the leaves fresher so it's wet. Okay. And the bramble then can get moisture to survive longer, uh, otherwise you'll okay. need to replace it every day. Wow, there you go. Top tips from Nicola there. Yeah. Fantastic, okay. It's the so... easiest way to keep things fresh. When... Instead of good. having a tub of water, because they can drown. Wow, yeah. Um, Claire, how are you with spiders? Mm. <laughs> I'm, 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 I think mm. I'm okay with house ones, they don't bother me, but... What, the, the big sort of thick ones that run around really fast? Yeah, I don't get really... Oh, yeah. I'm terrified oh, of those. No, I'm okay. How about tarantula? I've never held a tarantula before. No, well, mate, for good reason. Well, last time we were here, you said your fear was over. No, 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 no. Let's get things straight. Right <laughs> and off, you said right? it on the bus. I said I was able to get near this thing, and I'm almost able to hold it, but it takes some... Oh, hello, oh, friend. That is quite cute, actually. Now, I remember Ross's reaction to this when he first had a chance. He was like, yes, I'll hold it. And then as soon as he put his hand out, it was a sudden fear. Yeah. And I'm worried that I'm going to fling it, it's yeah. going to go flying. Now, I know this chap has been everywhere. He's been. This is the chap that was on Matthew's face, wasn't it? Yes. I mean, Matthew, you're nuts, mm. but well, well played. Um, could you tell us a little about this chap? So, he's roughly about six years old now. Okay. He's been everywhere. So, we've, we've taken him to care homes, schools, groups, everywhere as possible. And he's even got his food in his tank. I was going to say, are we going to see a live uh, hunt in a minute? Because uh... I doubt it. He hasn't <laughs> eaten it. But if okay. you do look in here, you won't be able to see it on camera. Can you see the white little things moving? Yes. Oh, yeah. So, this is their springtail. So, basically, they're keeping all the dirt and obviously all this poo that he produces, they they keep it all clean for me. Oh, that's very... So it's, it's sort of like a natural eco ecosystem mm -hmm. almost in there. Yes. Yeah. Brilliant. So how are we feeling, Claire? Brave. Yeah. Brave. Um, I, I'm not... So a little Brave bit of a backstory here, actually. This chap, um, there was a shedding of this chap going around a little while ago. 
And I believe that you <laughs> provided producer Henry with the shedding no. of this spider. And I caught. I haven't given any shredding because this one hasn't shredded yet, as you can tell. Oh uh, well, it was a shedding of a it's spider, fun. definitely, it's because I, I came <laughs> into the radio studio here what, a few weeks ago, and just to set up ready for the next segment, <laughs> I caught producer Henry very sneaky going out, you know, <laughs> very obviously putting something under his jacket as he left. I saw you leaning over the over the desk, and what happened? I go over to the PC, thought nothing of it. There was, well, I thought a tarantula right next to the mouse. I jumped feet. Turns out it was a skin shed that you had provided. <laughs> I Thank haven't you. provided it. <laughs> who else? Who else? Who the else? Chaos Nerds know? would have oh. a shed of a tarantula. You can go to Nuki Zoo and they have shreds that they give people okay. when they do their talks. So it definitely wasn't me. I wonder. I wonder. Maybe it was Steph. I know you're out there. I wonder if Steph managed to get a hold of one. Um, one thing I will say is you've picked this up with your jumper. I don't I know what's that. I don't have the luxury of this right now. Uh, any Do you reason? want the card? <laughs> it's only if I was to go in there to pick him up normally. Yeah. He would think I'm a predator. More likely chance of being attacked. Okay. So and then for him to go on my jumper, he would feel it's different material, and then that's just how we've always done it. Sort of a transition, a slow transition. Mm. That's understandable. Fair. So now obviously he's on my my hand. Absolutely fine. But that does it bite. It, it can. But it's not. The, I've been using it now for, I would say, about three years. Okay. Maybe four years. Lots and of people holding him? Everyone's still alive. <laughs> yeah. I'm sorry. Are we saying that if he does bite, there is a problem? You'll be fine. <laughs> <laughs> right. Okay. Come on, Pat. Um, after you. After you. Oops. Okay. I'll put my. You have the luxury of a jumper here. I do not. <laughs> So I remember famously with Ross, that, uh, is, is, this is a, a, a bloke. Yeah, it's a good picture, I've seen that. I believe. So, I mean, yeah, he, he yeah. famously did not want to get on Ross's hand. There you go. How fast can these move? Quite fast. Have you seen this one moving quite fast? Yes. Has he ever done that on a person? He can. He can just run that up your arm. That wasn't an answer. That wasn't an answer. <laughs> if that was a possibility of a yes, do not move too fast, Claire. It's not moving at all. It's comfy. <laughs> yeah. He only it. runs fast on males. Why? <laughs> <laughs> Look, it's fine, Pudge. I'm sure it's well, fine. I'm sure it's fine. Will I put, oh, let it go me. on my hand? Or so six years, you said? Oh. Yes. And how old can he be? Can he get to? So it's roughly between 12 and 18 years. 12 and 18. Oh. So he's got some time left in him, yeah. Yes, he's not fully grown yet. Okay. He'll get to about hand size. Okay. I'm going to regret saying this, but let's give it a Are go. Are you going to do it? Let's put him on the back of my do you hand. Do want me to do hold me... the mic? Yeah. No, that's no, fine. I'll, <laughs> sure? hold, I'll hold the mic. Um, just do me a favour. Be nearby for in case I accidentally <laughs> flip anywhere. Oh, my goodness, oh look. You've... Come on, buddy. On you go. That's it. Very light and dainty, I will say. Yeah. Wow. Well, Dad... Always, for years and years, said, don't be silly. They're just, they're absolutely fine. Wherever you are in the other world, Dad, I'm holding a spider. Be happy about this. Nathan's just popped his head in and is going, What? <laughs> Your turn, Nathan. Come back. He's on the phone. He can't come in. Yeah, of course he can't. That, oh, sorry. That was, that was fine. Really light and dainty. They're not furry. how you feel. Furry. It was really strange yeah. to say that it was a furry feeling. Right, so um, Henry's turn now. You come and take the microphone. No, no. no. Come on. Really? He's dainty Thank enough for the you. lot of us, apparently. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, that's lovely. So, what? just one last question. What is the like, official name of this one? So, this is a Mexican red knee. Mes Mexican red knee, okay. Very beautiful, very pretty. I don't want to go and buy back in the box now, Mum. I want to stay out. I've got some interesting people out here. It won't be the first time <laughs> I've just carried him into the car and gone along the car with him on my hand. Go and introduce him to Babs. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> Why not? Well, look, on that note, I've done what I wanted to do now for a while. I've held a tarantula. My goodness, yeah, me the well, done. well done to you as well. Yeah. That's, you know, quite a, quite a scary uh, moment there. I'm scary, quite pleased. Um, um, Nicola, thank you so much <laughs> for bringing some interesting creatures. Oddly, I was scared of grasshoppers most or cricket what was it grasshoppers, grasshoppers. <laughs> i was scared of grasshoppers more than a tarantula i mean that really says it all doesn't it